Now we will gonna learn how you can autofill in different ways in Microsoft Excel. One of the ways that you can autofill is that you need to give a sequence. For example, if you want to autofill the number sequence, you need to give at least the first two numbers in that sequence. Now sometimes people they make this mistake, they do put the sequence in place, but they only select the second item in the list. So now when you double and when you use the autofill handler, which is actually right in this corner, the squarish like symbol if you bring your mouse over that it changes your plus to this hairline plus you press and hold the left click and you keep coming down since you only selected one number out of a sequence it thinks that you want to replicate that we don't want to do that we want the sequence to continue so for that purpose we want both numbers to be selected you can select it however you want to select it using many ways that I taught you in the previous tutorial you can press and hold shift you can drag whatever you want to do but either way so once you get these two items selected, also when you're dragging, never drag from the autofill handler. When you drag from the autofill handler, it thinks that you want to copy the value into this next cell. So never, never drag from autofill handler. See what this is what it does. It copies that same value over. So now when we are selecting the two values, uh, it gives Excel an idea that this is my sequence. There's a difference of one. Now I can start autofill and notice that when I'm done, it fills them in a sequence. Not only that, it also works with text. So for example, in text, I have sales one. If I autofill, it understands that, oh, it's sales one, so the next one should be sales two, and then sales three, and so on and so forth. So notice how it understands when it's an alpha numeric versus a strictly number. If it's a strict number and you autofill, it basically follows the same number across. If it is a sequence of numbers, and it follows the difference. Otherwise, in alphanumeric, which is the text and alphabets, it understands provided it ends in a number to continue with that sequence. So that's how you can use the autofill as well.